Welcome to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, and we're at verses 31 to 37 today. Let's read it. In that day, he who was on the housetop and his goods are in the house, let him not come down to take them away. And likewise, the one who was in the field, let him not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you, in that night there will be two men in one bed. One will be taken and the other will be left. Two women will be grinding together and one will be taken and the other left. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. And they answered and said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Wherever the body is, there the eagles will be gathered together. So Jesus is continuing what we talked about yesterday morning. Uh, there's a division. There's a time when things are just like normal, 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 normal. Boom, judgment. Okay. That time is coming. It's coming up sooner than it ever was before. And he gives the example of two people uh, sleeping in one bed. This is not a, a San Francisco picture. This is, you know, in the old days, they had smaller, smaller homes. And many times people all slept in the same bed. It wasn't what you would think of in the 2020s, okay? Uh, but anyway, there's two together and there's a division. One is taken, one is left, okay? There's two people working, you know, in the, among the machinery. One is taken, one is left, this, this kind of a picture. And so uh, there's a division. And then the ones that are taken, what, what happens? Where are they taken? Wherever the body is there, the eagles will be gathered together. Well, I lived in northern Idaho for a while and pastored up there on Ruby Ridge. And, you know, what you had there, we had eagles. I had eagles flying right over my garage. It was really, uh, really remarkable. One of the most beautiful places you could live. But I could tell you that. Uh, if there are eagles uh, gathered around, it's it's uh, there's a dead animal on the train tracks or something, right? There's a dead animal that they're they're gathering around to take. So wherever the eagles are gathered, uh, this isn't they're not having a party, you know. In in that sense, they're they're getting together to eat a dead bodies. That's what they're getting together for. So so there's a division. Things are like normal, 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 and then suddenly judgment. There's a division, and then there's those that are left alive and those that are left dead. So. So that's the kind of picture Jesus is teaching here, that there comes a time when everything that's uh, it's all continued the same from the beginning. You know, it com comes a time when that business goes away and there is a intervention. There is an absolute judgment. So Jesus is warning then. He's warning people, hold on tight. Even though you don't see what, you know, you, you think should have already happened. God's timing is right. Your timing is wrong. Hold on tight. When the time comes, and it's it's coming way coming way closer today, isn't it? Don't you think? There's a time coming when God will intervene. So, friends, let's you and I let's us be right with God. Let's pray. Father in heaven, it does. It just seems as though time goes on. Everything is just going on as always, and you never intervene. Well, but it, but someday we'll see. You did a lot of interventions, but the big ultimate intervention is coming up. Lord, help our hearts to be right, so that when we come to that that uh, amazing, strong division between one thing and another, that we're not in the group, the group that are slain by the brightness of your coming. Oh, Lord, help us to be Christians now, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the Lord be with you and put his blessings upon you and all that you do this day. May you be his agent wherever you are.